good morning pilgrims on day 10 today it woke, I woke up freezing why because temperatures is near zero looking for some breakfast and then I'm heading to Santo Domingo so today as you can see we're walking in rocky terrain that's what I love at Camino every day you get a new view a new environment, new weather conditions. I got a little scared this morning because the forecast said that there was a 90% chance of snow this morning. Well, as you can see, that forecast was wrong. Thank God because I did not bring any snow gear. That would have sucked. Well, I feel like this might be appropriate for this environment, but it may actually hurt because it's got little spikes on it. Oh, sh I mean, look at that thing. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> So anyways, just made it to the town of uh, uh, Afron, right there. The sun just came out and I'm digging this hat and this buff. I mean, where else can you walk around looking like this, like a bandit from the wild, wild west and not being out of place other than Halloween, I guess. Well, I'm digging this buff. I may actually call it Shia, as in Shia LaBeouf. On my way out of town, I come across a picota from medieval times. Criminals were shackled here and the heads of executed criminals were left hanging on display for all to see. It is here I come across Jose, an old Spaniard from previous stages. We walk and talk about El Camino for the next few hours through the vast open plains, leading to my final destination for the day. Jose decided to stay in the following town. So I made it to the town of uh, Santo Domingo. Already got my uh, bed at the albergue municipal. Took a shower and washed the old dirty clothes. Hopefully they will dry up even though it's a cloudy day. Other than that, the day's been pretty typical. Not a lot to see along the way. Just vast plains of uh, wheat fields. It is time to explore Santo Domingo and get something to eat. La Catedral de Santo Domingo de la Calzada dates back to 1158 and the extensive renovations that took place between the 14th and 15th century. Just behind the cathedral is La Plaza de España, a very wide and cobbled square dating back to the 14th century. Open markets and bullfights were a common place here. The city was once enclosed by the largest wall in the region of La Rioja. Now only three gates and a large section of wall remains. I head back to the Albergue de Peregrinos where I find a lockbox for my valuables. It is a rare occurrence, but they're welcome in sight. Well, I don't know if you can see, but there's a mixture of rain and snow falling right now. I don't think my clothes are gonna get dried anytime soon. <laughs> had dinner at this great place mixed salad steak with fries and a quarter bottle of uh, wine flan for dessert and all that for 12 bucks amazing well I'm heading in it's nine o'clock the Sun is still out I haven't seen a single sunset yet because usually the alberg is close at 10 so I try to go to sleep between 9 and 9.30. Clothes are still drying up. It's been a cloudy, windy day, but uh, it was great. 
spent the whole day in the albergue just on Facebook. Gotta stop leaving at six in the morning. I mean, what's the point? I ended up getting the the top bed on the at the albergue, in the bunk beds. So tomorrow, I'm leaving at 7.38. Peace.